Let's look at the pronunciation of phrasal verbs. First of all, we will look at stress. Here are two example sentences. I looked at the blue sky and smiled. And number two, I'm looking forward to the party. Which syllables are stressed in those two sentences? Now, first of all, what is the meaning really of the verb look in both? In the first sentence, look has really got the original meaning, like see, it's the normal verb. But in the second sentence, the verb look combines with forward and to to form a phrasal verb and the meaning changes here it means to feel excited about a future event. I added the stress bubbles to show you which syllables are stressed in both sentences. Let's look at the first sentence first. I looked at the blue sky and smiled. So the verbs that are stressed are looked, blue, sky and smiled. They all carry content, so they're stressed. The little bubbles are unstressed syllables. If you want to find out a little bit more about sentence stress, check out my other video. Now, yes, the verb look is stressed, but the preposition following at is not stressed because it doesn't change the meaning of the verb look. It just tells us the direction in which we are looking. In the second sentence, I'm looking forward to the party. We stress look in looking, for in forward, and pa in party. So the three words that are stressed. Forward, this is the particle following our verb look, is stressed. Now why do we stress this word? That is because it changes the meaning of the verb look. And so it's important. It carries important meaning. Look at something is not the same as look forward to something. So you have to stress this word because the listener has to hear it clearly because it changes the meaning of our verb. I'm looking forward to the party. So stress the particle because it changes the meaning of the verb. Here is a second example. She took the dress with her and she took the dress back. Both sentences use the verb take in its past simple form, took. In the first sentence, the verb took has the original meaning. It just means to move an object from one place to another. It's the normal verb. But in the second sentence, took back, this is a phrasal verb and the meaning has changed here. It means to return something to its original place. So she took the dress with her and she took the dress back. Let's have a look at the stress in these two sentences. Again, I have added the stress bubbles for you. Number one, she took the dress with her. So we have took the dress. Took and dress have the main stress in the sentence. She took the dress with her. But in the second sentence, she took the dress. That's the same as before, but then we have the verb back and that word has to be stressed. She took the dress back. So we have two stressed syllables next to one another here. And why do we stress back? Well, just like before, we stress the particle. Here it is back, an adverb, because it changes the meaning of the verb. And remember, the particles could be prepositions or adverbs. So is this the same for all of the phrasal verbs? Yes. Let's have a look at some phrasal verbs with one particle. So here are four examples. Look up, set off, pick up, hand over. All of those 
all of those verbs combine either with a preposition like up or off or with an adverb like over and those are the words that are stressed and yes the, the verb itself like look set pick and hand are stressed but the particle is stressed a little bit more it's a little bit louder and clearer than the verb so it's look up set off pick up, hand over, not look up, set off, pick up, hand over. So the rule is stress the particle because it changes the meaning of the verb. And why is this important? Well, not just because of the meaning. There's something else that could happen too because some phrasal verbs are also nouns. For example, pick up. Yes, it's a phrasal verb, but this is also a noun in English. A pickup, a pickup truck is a kind of car, very popular in America. And those kind of nouns, they are stressed on the verb. So if we have pick up, as a noun meaning the car a pickup truck that word is stressed on the original verb and that is pick in our case here so there's a reason why we have the stress on one word or another um, it can change the word class okay here from verb to noun but also in phrasal verbs stressing the particle is important really mainly because it changes the meaning Let's have a look at some phrasal verbs with two particles. There are many, for example, come up with, run out of, look forward to, look down on. And you might wonder, well, what particle do we stress, the first or the second one? Now, usually we stress the first particle. Let's listen. Come up with, run out of look forward to, look down on. This is the most natural pronunciation and so that means it's usually the first particle as well. Let's look at linking next. Again, I'm sticking with the same examples as before. Look up, set off, pick up, hand over. I'm going to read them out and the question is what happens to the last sound of the verb? So in our case we're a little bit lucky here because the last sound of each of these four verbs is also the last letter here sound and spelling correspond. So let's listen. Look up. Set off. Pick up, hand over. What happens to the last sound of each verb? Maybe you've noticed that the last sound, in our case, all of those are consonant sounds, k, t, and d. Those last consonant sounds, they joined the particle, the following word. So, look up sounds now like look up so the particle up sounds like cup <laughs> look up and set the t has moved to the particle of so it sounds like tough set tough set tough and the k in pick has also joined with up so it sounds like cup again pick cup pick cup and the d in hand has joined with over and now it sounds like dover like the city in england hand over hand over so the answer to my question is the last sound joins the following particle now listen this happens with consonants okay so if the last sound is a consonant in the verb then it joins with the following particle. You notice all those particles start with 
vowel sounds. And if that's the case, then we have this linking happening. Now, what does this will sound like in a sentence? Let's look at some examples. Example one. I really look up to Mother Teresa. This is my example sentence and we have the phrasal verb look up to somebody. This means to admire someone and to have a high opinion of them. Now first of all, here is the stress pattern for the sentence. I really look up to Mother Teresa. So you see big bubbles means that syllable is stressed. And we want to focus now on our phrasal verb look up to. And so this phrasal verb has two particle and the first one is stressed. Look up to. I really look up to Mother Teresa. So first of all that's the stress. And here is the linking, the k from look joins with the up and forms something that sounds like cup. So I really look up to Mother Teresa. I'm just going to say the phrasal verb again. Look up to, look up to. I really look up to Mother Teresa. Example two. This is a question using the phrasal verb set off. What time do you want to set off? Set off here means to leave in order to start a journey. Maybe this is a question that you ask your friend and you both want to go to school or college and you want to know when she wants to leave and you ask her what time do you want to set off? So what is stressed in the sentence? Here are the stress bubbles. What time do you want to set off? So the verb and the particle are both stressed in set off. But the off, the particle, is slightly louder than the verb. And in fact, if you know a little bit more about sentence stress in English, you know that we have a tendency to stress um, the last lexical item and the last part of the sentence a little bit more than the first bit. So off will probably have the main stress in the sentence. So let's listen again. What time do you want to set off? And there's also linking happening here. The t from set joins of and sounds like tof, set tof. What time do you want to set off? Set tof. I hope this has been helpful, but if you have any questions, do please leave me a comment below.